six EU countries support Malaysia over palm oil ban. Jupa Somnet contributes first gold at Asian Track Championships. Good afternoon, I'm Cynthia Marilyn Arthur. You're watching News on 2. A special allocation for the Indian community under the B40 category to make Amana Saham Satu Malaysia AS1M investment will be launched at the end of this month. Prime Minister Datuk Sri Najib Abdul Razak, when announcing the matter, said a total of 500 million ringgit would be provided for the purpose. B40 dan kita hadkan kepada 5,000 saham bagi setiap individu. Ini supaya masyarakat kaum India dapat pembelaan yang sewajarnya. The Prime Minister was speaking at the Deh Tarek session with some 1,000 members of the Indian community in Langkawi Kedah yesterday. During the tabling of the budget 2018 on October 27 last year, Datuk Sri Najib announced a new initiative to help the Indian community through a special distribution of 1.5 billion additional units of the AS1M, which is limited to 30,000 units per investor. The distribution of the units began on January 29th. In addition, the government also also allocated 500 million ringgit for the period of five years under the special loan investment scheme for 100,000 Indian households under the B40 category. Malaysia has received support from leading European Union countries over its stand in opposing any discriminatory measures against palm oil. Plantation Industries and Commodities Minister Datuk Sri Masiu Kyong said this was conveyed to him during his just concluded trip to Europe where he led a Malaysian delegation for the Malaysia-EU palm oil consultation. Spain is reported to be the latest EU country to speak against the resolution after France, Sweden, the United Kingdom, Germany and the Netherlands. It will be conveyed to them because uh, most of them still think that palm oil is all uh, sharikat besar, ladang besar, plantation, but no. I did tell them that 40% of the palm oil uh, in Malaysia are planted by smallholder per kerbun kecil. Okay? And there are 650,000 per kerbun kecil uh, in uh, Malaysia. So you do this, you will destroy the livelihood of the per kerbun kecil in Malaysia. Dr. Sri Ma, who is also the Grakan president, told reporters after attending his party's Chinese New Year open house yesterday. A European Parliament's resolution on January 17th calls for the phasing out of palm oil from the EU's biofuel program by 2020, claiming that it resulted in the destruction of forests. Police have obtained a seven-day remand order from the magistrates caught in Bukit Murtajam, Pulau Pinang, for a couple following the death of their one-and-a-half-month-old baby girl. This was after an x-ray discovered bruises all over her body with one of her legs fractured. The men and women, both 22 years old, were produced before Registrar Nor Hapipah Abdullah on Friday morning. Central Sabrang Prai Police Chief ACP Nick Ros Azhan Nick Ab Ahmed said the infant died on Thursday. ACP Nick Ros Azhan said that according to the parents, the child was unconscious and was rushed to a nearby clinic where she was pronounced dead upon arrival. Following the death, the child's remains were brought to the Sabarang Jaya Hospital and an X-ray revealed injuries and bruises on her head, neck and legs. The case is being investigated under Section 31, Subsection 1, Subsection A of the Child Act 2001. Kedah police seized 14 motorcycles which were modified to be used for illegal racings during an operation dubbed Ops Samsung Jalanan in Alur Sitar last night. The operation was conducted for five hours from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. According to Kota Sitar Police Chief ACP Muhammad Rozi Jidin, most of the seized motorcycles had undergone extensive modifications which include engine parts and tires. He added that the operation was held following various complaints lodged by the Volunteer Smartphone Patrol VSP regarding illegal racings involving motorcycles around Jalan Gunung Keryang. 
Police also issued 101 summonses for various offences, which included riding without valid licence. Jupa Somnet delivered a surprise gold for Malaysia on the first day of the Asian Track Championships ATC 2018 at the National Velodrome in Nilai Negeri Sembilan. The 24-year-old aspiring female cop timed her final sprint to perfection in the women's elite points race to open the accounts for Malaysia in the competition. Jupa collected 35 points at the end of the 80-lap race to leave Hong Kong's Rio Olympian cyclist Diao Xiaojuan, who amassed 25 points, in second place. Xin Cheng of Taiwan took bronze with 21 points. Jupa collected a maximum 20 points for her final sprint after she overtook the pack. She's only the second Malaysian woman after Fateha Mustafa to win gold in the history of the Asian Championships. Jupa, who is of Malaysian Thai parentage, was ecstatic to finally make it to the top of the podium on the Asian Championship stage. Meanwhile, the national men's junior cycling team triumphed over their South Korean rivals to win the bronze medal in the team sprint event last night. The team comprising Mohamed Ridwan Sharom, Amar Daniel Masri and Faris Haikal Mohamed Kadir clocked 47.149 seconds, beating Shinjen Seomun, Shang Yuk Yo and Dong Hyun Han by two tenths of a second in the third fourth placing race. The gold medal of the event went to the Indian team represented by Iso, Mayur Pawar and James Keith Palmstein, with a time of 46.07, beating their challengers from Japan. Osada Ryuken, Matsumoto Hidenosuke and Kurose Kotaro settled for silver with a time of 46.125 seconds. That concludes this afternoon's edition of News on 2. In our top story, massive 7.2 magnitude earthquake rocks Mexico City, stirring fear. News on 2 will be back at 7 p.m. with more updates. Till then, I'm Cynthia Marilyn Arthur. Thank you for watching and happy Chinese New Year.